All right, what's up, guys? We're gonna be doing a general overview of the Volante Airsoft uh, Stratos. I could have sworn this is the name of the his Glock one, but anyways, this is his new one. I've already been playing around with it. Um, I probably got maybe uh, five plus mags through it, so it's not that many rounds. But um, we're just gonna talk about it, Coco. <laughs> my uh, my aunt has her dog in the house, and uh, she's going nuts. Sit. All right, sorry. <laughs> um, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna chrono it on camera for you guys. So, like, I already know the results, but I just want to show you guys. And then we're gonna dry fire with propane mag. Uh, for those who don't want to sit through the whole video, um, I lost a little bit of FPS on here, about five to ten. I, I, I'm gonna try using Coco. I'm gonna try using the UAC gasket or nine bolts to see if I can counter that. But to be honest, it's it feels great. Um, there is one weird feeling. I, I think so far there's nothing negative about it. The only negative I have is it it, it feels weird when I shoot my TM mag and I'll, I'll try to show you guys. I don't know if you can hear it or something, but it feels like uh, the sprinting there. Like the, there's a vibration that you feel. It's just a weird feeling, but it's not a, like negative or whatever. But it's just weird. Uh, it comes with the blowback unit, the screw. I'll show you one once we take it out. It comes in this, you know, solid package, which is good. I always like getting these kind of packages. And here's the uh, the manual comes with. You guys can just pause that and take a look at it. It's very straightforward. And there is the breakdown once again. <laughs> nice work. I think what he did is, I think he took the um, the Glock one and just transferred it over, kind of. I feel that's what he did, and it's, it's very cool. And once again, it works well. It really does. And I, I hope you guys can see it. But just like the other videos, it's the same thing. It's like, you got to shoot it to, um, to really feel it. Another cool thing is, since it's self-contained, <laughs> I, I love how easy it is. That's the key word, is it's easy. You just throw it in. Um, you don't actually have to run rear sights anymore, like which I, I don't like. I don't shoot with sights. I know for like if you're doing you know ipsic or something, yeah, put a sight on here. But like, I don't care to have. I don't care not to have a rear sight. So that, that's like one cool thing for me, and that's kind of a plus because you can even reduce the weight further. But you know, it is. Uh, I'll show you the weight. So it's it's not lightweight. If he if he were to make a lightweight version. That would be very interesting. That would be, I would be, uh, I'd be curious to see that. But I just, you know, that I don't think that's what he, he's doing. Because, you know, these are really aimed for um, recoil and that kind of stuff. So right now, I'm going to chrono. And you guys are going to get to see the chrono. Coco, just sit down, all right? <laughs> she, she gets excited around with her dogs. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shoot the trap to the left. Uh, we'll shoot five shots. Is that five shots? Okay, good. We got five shots. We got one in chambers. Now I'm going to shoot for you guys. Let's take a look at the average. Uh, average is. Oops, sorry, I hit the camera. 277. Let's just. Alright. Calm down, Coco. I don't know if I told you guys about her. I I, I think I, I talk about her, but she's a uh, pit bull rottweiler, and my uh, my aunt she rescues dogs, so like, we you know we we be careful with her around with her dogs. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. She's very friendly, no doubt, very friendly, and but she, you know we try to be careful. Now this is a TM mag. Uh, you know, this it's a hundred percent stock. No, no upgrades here, and there's no BB in here. I'm gonna shoot it one hand and then uh, hold the slide release because I only have one. There's only one short stroke buffer, and it's a shock. One shock. Okay. We'll hold it. Uh, middle finger. We're gonna do it for both. Out of gas. Okay. 
I have been shooting with it earlier, so let's just fill it up. Okay, we're full. Now yeah, we'll get a couple shots. Here, same thing, holding down swipe release. It's a it's a good feeling. The only thing is is, is there's like a, a vibration. You know, I can feel it with my hands. I can't hear it. I don't know if the camera picks it up or something like that. You guys know me. I have I have hearing aids, so um, it's just a weird it's a weird feeling. I I don't I've never you know felt this kind of before. I don't have this feeling in my Glock. So it's just a it's a spring vibration kind of thing. It's just very weird. Now let me take it apart, show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, it's just very easy to uh, disassemble. And as for you know, there's, it was a drop in, but this once again, this is the the UAC build. Um, it's plastic. It's not a drop in on my Omni, and I, it's just that kit is so tight. You know what I mean? It's so I would have to modify this blowback unit. I wanted to get in there. Now my my other problem is, I I think we I haven't had it happen to me, but my Merlin and Glocks, uh, the Glock uh, blowback unit, the loading nozzle hasn't broken. But what's going to happen when when this loading nozzle um, when it breaks? Because all loading nozzles will eventually break. Okay, it's just it's just how it is. What's going to happen when this breaks? Uh, how does that process work? Uh, that that's something I haven't asked them. Um, how much does the loading nozzle cost to um, to have like extras? Can I buy extras? These are the questions I have, and that that's why I I have trouble making this my primary. It's it's like it's fun to use, it's easy to use, but for something to for for something for me to classify as a, like a primary um, you know blowback unit, I want the parts to be easily accessible, something I can buy. Um, you know, reasonably priced, and I, I think this is reasonably, reasonably priced for what it is. For his, especially his, seeing how his Glock one and the Merlin ones work, they do what he says. It, they provide excellent recoil. They're easy to use. They function. Uh, I'm sorry, I've just started talking a lot, but let me. This is another thing. I, I don't know if you guys could see. I didn't really. T I should have. Damn, I should have done it in the. But he's he's smooth as that. It's very low profile. It's. It's very smooth on the frame uh, versus like this. You'll feel the, you, you guys should be able to see the difference. Look at the difference on the bottom. So this is once again, another smart thing. It kind of reminds me of the, um, ah, dang it, RTS. This is it RTS for the Glock blowback unit. It's like how he kind of like smoothed it out. This is exactly the same thing here. Can you guys see that? Very smooth profile. And I'll do a weigh-in for you guys. Uh, but yeah, that's I think that's my other thing I worry about. Like, what's going to happen when my stuff breaks? Yeah, I think same shell. I think this is Zamac too. Would um, I'll put a link in below. Uh, it was seventy-four ninety-nine. I pre-ordered it. I think I, I pre-ordered almost everything I got about like a month ago or two months ago. So it's been out for a bit. I just didn't get to it. And on the Omni, it drops in. But since it's so tight, okay, so, and you can see it has this weird gap right here. That's on a plastic one. You guys see, it's the same, it's the same gap in all of them. So it's a weird little gap. So maybe if you, if you don't like aesthetics, that might bu bug you, but, you know, that, that'll be fine. Cause I'm just going to, if I choose this blowback unit, and I figure out how like the loading nozzle situation works. If I choose it, now I'm, I'm just going to fill the gap. I'm going to probably add like a, a shim there and then you know epoxy it on there or something. But uh, this kit is incredibly tight. It doesn't it doesn't go on. Okay, so uh, give me a second. I'm going to. I think you can hear them talking, so I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to pause it here. Okay. All right, we're back. Ah, oh, it's just, I need to figure out the micro, microphone situation. It's driving me nuts. I don't know, I mean, I lost train of thought. Oh, this doesn't fit on the frame. I would have to, I'm obviously <laughs> going to modify the blowback unit 
if I choose this blow back unit. I'm not modifying this $500 setup versus 80 bucks, all right? I'm sorry, 74.99. But um, I'm not going to be modifying the slide. Uh, unless like, it's, uh, it's a no-brainer or maybe it's something up here. But I, I think it's just, it's a very tight kit. Alright. So I don't, it's, it's going to be dependent on what kit you have or slide. Every kit's going to be different. Because if you get a loose slide, maybe it'll be perfect. Like it fits perfectly on my plastic one, no problems. And it's very smooth, it's very nice. Let's do a win. Um... Yeah, let's do, we need to, that's going to be one thing everyone wants to know. Hey, where did that just come from? That just come from... Did something just break off? Is that right here, guys? I wonder if that's right here. Oh! <laughs> Check that out. Did that just break off? Uh, I'll have to... Cause I, I don't remember what I filmed. So we're going to have to... When I uh, spliced, uh, put the video together, I'll just check it. But it looks like it actually just uh, broke off. Oh, that's funny. Talk about the whole loading nozzle situation. Yeah, it looks like it literally just broke off. Can you guys see that? All right. Looks like I'll be uh, I'll be sending the video. I, I I'll send it to him. I think someone else has hit me up where someone put in the comment like that. Their loading nozzle broke within 50 shots. I have more than 50 shots in this, but. Yeah, that's actually a little alarming that it broke so soon. Uh, let's do a weigh-in. Uh, 44.4 grams. And here, here's a, this is UAC? No, this is Nova. This is UAC, yeah. Yeah. UAC had the black or ring. Uh, UAC's got the. Well, actually, okay, all right. I, I'm gonna stop nitpicking. 18.2. Uh, obviously, not with the loading nozzle, so let's put a loading nozzle in here and a return spring to make it fair. But, and this is what you would call it a complete unit because the Volante is a complete unit. Okay, so with the loading nozzle, return spring, and the blowback unit itself, 23.5 grams versus 44.2 grams, it was 44.4, but 44 grams, all right? So not as heavy as the TM1, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, I, I thought the, the stock TM is in the 50s, but once again, provides a nice recall, but now that's got me worried. Damn, I was just talking about loading nozzle. This is what you know stopped me from uh, stopped me from making the the Glock one a main like a primary because it's just ease of accessibility and being able to repair and do it on the spot. Like you know how how hard is it? You know, and it's either Volante you buy direct from him or I think Boom Arms is selling his stuff now. It's not like you can just get it from anywhere. That's that's the problem. Like, you know, I want stuff to be accessible if I'm going to make it main. These type of blowback units, they're excellent because, well, you know, yeah, this is the right one. They're excellent because it's easy to replace the O-rings, easy to fix them. And they, you know, they rarely ever break. Just lock tight the piston, you know, it's, it's a simple, simple procedure to take care of it and play with it and have it as a main. That's why I will always push these guys. Yes, you can get more FPS out of the traditional style with the piston cup, but it's not as you know. You gotta maintain it. You gotta take care of it. You know, it can get, it can swell, it can jam. It's a pain in the ass. That's the key thing. All right, so I want you guys once again to focus on the 
you know, the recoil, listen to the sounds. And we'll see the FPS. Uh, 277 for Volante. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. This is the um, the screw. It's a smaller smaller head for the Volante. Um, to, I'm not sure why, but maybe there's there's a there's a reason behind it. But um, it's just it's, it is a dipping screw head and it's thinner as well. Um, here's just you know here's the UAC and I, I'd probably say almost everybody else in the world for Volbeck units they always use these type socket screws. Very simple. Okay. Let's get this in. Yeah, and um, I'll uh, actually I'll do an update video. I'll tell you guys like what happens, because I'm curious about. I'm actually like legit curious how how does it work with the um, loading nozzle situation. And then you can see mine has already um, broken. Well, just the top part it's still functioning. Actually. Uh, uh, it's hard. This video is already long. Let's you know what. Let's just um. After this, we're gonna put this back in. We'll shoot it to make sure you know it actually does work. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, same test. We'll do the the TM mag. It's had time to cool down. I'm holding the slide release. You guys should be able to tell by sound, and uh, you won't be able to feel it obviously, but it's 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 just so much lighter. And let's do a chrono test. This is Doc Team loading nozzle with the action valve in it. Uh, the rocket spring, I can't remember. And then obviously, you know, Nova UAC blowback unit. Uh, what are we missing? We're missing this guy. Okay. Oh, did you guys get to see that? Oh, I only got three shots. Let's uh, shoot two more. Four shots. There we go. All right, let's get this out. We're gonna put the Volante back in and I'm gonna show you guys the average. And the next thing I'm gonna test is how does it do with uh, UAC gaskets and nine ball gasket. So you can see we're losing about like, what, 10 FPS here? What does that say, I can't. 287, yeah. And that's that's a stock TM loading nozzle. Once again, I'm not worried about the FPS. It's it's really about the feeling. It's just it feels so good. Now let's put the Volante back in though. That's that's a oh that is funny. I, I I'm gonna be when I watch rewatch the video. I'm curious to see if we caught it broken broken or it just came apart when I took it out. Now, I'm pretty sure someone just said, someone left a comment, I think, like, it broke, like, within 50 shots or something. I, I could have sworn I saw that uh, comment today. We just want to know that it shoots and functions right now. So we're putting it back in. Actually, should we? Uh, maybe we should almost take the, the take it out. See, take out the screw because you know what? If he, I'm gonna I'm gonna for sure try to get an extra one. I'll, I'll pay for. It, I don't care. Well, whatever situation is. Because technically speaking, he did ship it to me a month ago, but I just opened it. I don't know how that works. And I like I totally. I'm not a, like I. I feel like it. You know, people break it on them. That's you know, you're just unlucky. <laughs> I've broken a lot of stuff, and I don't think I did anything wrong here, but at the same time, once it leaves, it leaves. Alright, well, just 
looking to see if there's anything here. And then we need to put the screw in. The wrong one. Damn, that is... Yeah, we're, you know what? Let's take it apart on camera too. We're just going to... And then whatever it takes to get the loading nozzle, I don't care. We'll do an update video. And let's see. High flow valve will increase the blowback unit performance. We know that. That's a given for sure. Not responsible for gun damage. That's fair. That's totally fair. That, yeah, I agree with that. You buy this, you, you know, that's your choice. I have a flaw of blowback unit coming out. I'm going to have to put that on there. Pan, patent panning. Excellent. Yeah, that's cool. Do not use high pressure <laughs> plastic slide. Yeah, I'm cool with breaking this. I don't care. The, I've already gone through one plastic slide at you on the Glock one. Okay. Yeah, please oil o-ring. It's still brand new, so be careful with the screw that holds the blowback unit. It might pop out. No spare. Okay, nothing about the... Uh, okay, we didn't... We followed the rules. And well, actually, minus the plastic, but that's just because he doesn't want anyone breaking plastic. But that's cool. That's no problem there. Okay, let's shoot. Uh, we're out of BBs. Um, let's get some in here. That's enough shots. We don't need this. This video is like gonna be like 40 minutes. <laughs> Let's put this back here for you guys. Turn it on and off to reset it. All right, still firing. Chrono uh, average, once again, 276. I hope you guys can see that. So, consistent. Let's just dry fire it on the... Alright. I better stop shooting now. take it apart and that's only 100 psi that's that's not much at all I would say on average um, how out here in California we play uh, some guys go as high as 120 psi some go as low as 90 so the range from California for us locals is probably 90 to 120 that's where we play with the um, FPS if you're running HPA Man, that was. Uh, what was? Is it? It's, I don't think it's the same material as the um, the Glock one. I could have sworn that Glock one is a different color. Um, peak? Is it peak? I'm gonna have to rewatch that video too. But yeah, that's that's the part. Let's take it out. never taken one of these apart actually the Glock one is doing just fine no problem okay so does it come out Another broken part, or we'll see. Okay, that's to hold the yes. Yeah, we got, we got two broken parts already. Wow, let me show you guys right here. I'm gonna. Is it? Yeah, it's hard to see. Okay, look carefully. 
compare this side to the other side. Look. This is where it broke off right here. <laughs> that makes me really worried. This is, I am glad I caught this on video. I think I said in the beginning I only shot maybe five mags to it, which isn't that much. If sh it, obviously it still functions, it's shooting great, feels great, but this is a big issue for me. Alright, uh, I'm definitely going to talk to him and we'll see what happens. Uh, that's one thing I got to get across to him. Thank you. He's very he's easy to reach out to. That's, I love that when you can reach out to like the creators and stuff, you know, of their products. Shows you that they care. We'll see what happens here. Wow, look at that. Easy, so easy to take this apart. This one screw and that's it. So what part is this? This is the, uh, it's like the top part. It's not the actual, it's not the actual loading nozzle. You guys see? Is it, is it the, I think it's the same three chamber thing. Could be wrong, but, or the dual, no, yeah, is it dual? It's a dual. Well, look at that. All right, that's enough me talking. Um, you guys saw it. There was that one pause when they were talking, but um, I, I just, you know, there's no bullshit here. You guys know that. I'm not, I'm just worried. I'm not disappointed. This is not turning me off at all from uh, Volante ever. Because uh, he's, like well, like I said, man, nothing feels like this. If if if, if anything reminds me of the, the, the AW um, high cap, is because they have bigger loading nozzles. And they do feel good. I, I talked about that in that video when I shoot it. It feels good to shoot. Alright, I've talked enough. Sorry that's a long video. We just, I had to take it apart. Um, hey, I'm curious. Let's just do this. Let's weigh the shell. That's so cool. Look at this. Such a cool concept. All right. Ooh, yeah. 35.5. Uh, here's Airsoft Masterpiece. 23.6. <coughs> Eighteen point two, and we'll see when I get the Kent's prop in, the blowback in it. Okay. All right, I'll see you guys around. Take it easy.